Okay, today we will continue with the temperature and heat. So this will be the last chapter for this subject. <coughs> so overview of the topic. Temperature scales, thermal expansion, heat, heat capacity, specific heat, phase transition, and latent heat. So basically, in this uh, chapter, you will learn about temperature, how, how high is the boiling, and then how high is the maximum temperature for certain materials. Okay, and then specific heat. So learning outcome of this topic. At the end of this topic, you should be able to calculate the thermal expansion of solids and liquids. Okay. <coughs> so for example, um, after you heat up the metals, so the metal will be expanding. Okay, so this is what we call thermal expansion of solid. But uh, also have in liquid. Okay, liquid after you boil the water, what will happen? Okay, or you boil certain liquid, what will happen? Okay, next is to discuss. The concept of heat as energy flow. For example, um, where you can, uh, for example, you can, uh, whenever you park your car. So where you will specifically find to park your car. Okay, where you normally will find a cold area, right? Or shaded area. Okay, for example, uh, parking lots for shopping mall. You have parking lot basement. You have the top level. And also you have the rooftop. But the rooftop, you cannot... Um, save your save your car in terms of preventing heat to enter your car. Okay. Other than that, um, you will be using what you call that um at the windows. Okay, at the window, what you use to prevent the UV or heat coming in? Uh, the cover. Cover? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> ah, you use film, right? Like V-Cool, for example, the brand. Okay, so for this purpose, many car need to be sent to accessory shop to do this filming to prevent, uh, but have certain brand, okay, to prevent the car from getting hot. Ah, tinted, I also forget the name. Yeah, car tinted. Okay, so the car tinted not only to make it dark so that people cannot see you inside the car. The car tinted is a uh, major use is to make the heat inside the car. Um, <laughs> ah, JPJ. Okay, so the main use is to make the car uh, less heat. Especially in countries like Malaysia or Saudi Arabia. Okay. 
What if you don't have the tinted? What will happen? Uh, aircon will run the compressor forever and ever. <laughs> okay. Because uh, aircon try to be cool. Okay. Aircon you set at 17 degrees Celsius aircon. Okay. But when you set, it will compare the temperature with the temperature in the car. If you in the room, compare the temperature in the room. <laughs> but if in the car, uh, compare the temperature in the car. Okay, let's say temperature in the car is 25 degrees Celsius. You want to set it to 17 degrees Celsius for the aircon. It will take some time. Okay, especially it will take some time if you don't have this tinted. Because your car is parked in the hot area. So what you need to do. Uh, wind down the windows. Okay. Let the cool air come in first. Okay. Remove all the hot air in the car. Then only the aircon will be faster change to 17. Okay. So with the help of this tinted. It will prevent how many percent of the heat to come in from the sun. So, as uh, if at night, okay, if at night after the thing turn on, uh, the aircon already 17 degrees Celsius after you have uh, set it right. After the aircon already 17, what will happen to the compressor? Compressor will stop. Okay, compressor will stop after certain degree Celsius is achieved. Okay, after 17 is achieved. If you set to 17, if you set to 18, then 18. Okay, when the compressor will on again. Compressor for aircon will on again after the 17 becomes 17 point something. Okay, so the use of compressor is to make the heat go or to maintain the temperature that you want. Okay. So this concept also is the same if you use for the refrigerator. Uh, did you hear any sound when you go to the near to the refrigerator or fridge? Don't hear any sound. Wow. Maybe it is in the casing. <laughs> so mostly can hear. Okay. The sound that you hear from the fridge. Okay. The sound that you hear from, from the fridge is the compressor sound. Okay. After the door of the fridge, come in. Hot air from outside will come into the fridge. Okay, how many, uh, how long it will come? As long as you open the door. Okay, so sometimes um, children play with the door of the fridge and then forget to close it tightly. So this will make the fridge um, spoil. Why spoil? Because compressor keep on running. Okay. When the door not close properly. Okay. 
So you cannot, uh, you cannot tell people that uh, you have many fridge, and because you have many fridge, you consume a lot of electricity. If you don't open the door for one week, the door of the fridge, okay. So it is not really effect. Okay, compare if you have if you have five fridge, your friend house also have fridge, five fridge with the same capacity, okay, with the same liter. But then uh, your friend house seldom cook or not really many people. So fridge less open. Okay, compared to your your house, maybe there are a lot of kids, uh, friends coming in, friends coming out, and friends always open the door for the fridge. So this will make the compressor try to run, run, run until it reach the desired temperature that the fridge need. So when you compare, even though you have five fridge, uh, your friend also five. But the consumption might be different. Depends on how many times you open. Okay. Other than that, other factor is the capacity that you put inside the fridge. Uh, if you put many, what happen? If you put many ingredients or many things in the fridge, what happen to the temperature? If you put less thing, what happen? Okay. So today we will talk about temperature. Uh, okay. So temperature, heat is the flow of energy due to a temperature difference. So for example, in the fridge just now, Temperature, for example, in the fridge is zero degree Celsius for the ice area, okay. <laughs> and then for outside, your room temperature is 27. So, there are difference in temperature. Heat always flow from objects of high temperature to object of low temperature. So, in case of fridge just now, it flow from where? Anyone? Heat always flow from object at high temperature. So for the fridge uh, just now that I mentioned, so it move from inside the fridge to outside or outside to inside? The flow. Inside to outside. No, outside to inside. High temperature is outside. Low temperature is inside. So, heat flow from outside to inside. Uh, in the car also the same. Temperature outside the car is hot in Malaysia. Yeah, other country different. Nah. Okay. So, in Malaysia, if the heat outside is uh, more than the heat inside the car. So heat will move from outside of the car to inside of the car. Okay, so always remember heat always flow from high to low. Okay. When two objects have the same temperature, they are in thermal equilibrium. Okay, equilibrium means static, don't move. The zero law of Thermodynamic. If two objects are each in thermal equilibrium with a third object, then two objects are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Okay. Next is the scale. Okay, scales. Uh, water boils at 373.15 Kelvin, 100 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius in Celsius scale. Okay. So this I believe you know. 
Water fridge at zero. Absolute zero is negative 273.15. Okay, so if you want to change, for example, absolute per Celsius. So T equal to TC plus 273.15. Okay, for example, the value is in... Um, the value is in Celsius, okay? So, to convert to Kelvin, you need to plus with 273.15, the temperature value, okay? So, this is the Celsius and Fahrenheit. <coughs> Okay, now we look at this example. A friend suffering from the flu has a fever. Her body temperature is 38.6. What is her temperature in Kelvin? So just add with the 273.15. This is fixed. Then her temperature in Kelvin is 311.8 Kelvin. Okay. So if the question don't ask you to convert to Kelvin, don't convert. Maintain it in degree Celsius. Okay, next we look at thermal expansion of solid and liquid. Most objects expand when their temperature increases. The fraction length change is proportional to the temperature change. So, changes of L per LO equal to coefficient of thermal expansion times width Changes of T, where changes of T is original, uh, no, no. Changes of T is new T minus original T. TO is original T. So, you must show the calculation of the minus of the changes of T. Then only you substitute in this formula. Okay, LO is the length of the object. So, when you see the O, O is the original, original temperature, original length, okay? It's the length of object at temperature TO. And then, alpha, alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion. So, this formula will be provided during exam in the formula sheet. Okay. Next is table 13.2 is the coefficient of linear expansion alpha and volume expansion beta. Okay. So, um, for example, material under solid. For example, brick. So, brick, the coefficient is 1.0. But the volume expansion is beta equal to 3.0. So, table will be provided if the coefficient is not provided in the question. Okay. So, check from the table provided. For example, here, um, for liquid, you don't have any linear expansion because liquid follow the container. Therefore, liquid must have the volume expansion only. Okay. For example, water at zero degree Celsius, volume expansion coefficient is negative 68. So, here the conclusion is 
liquids have much greater coefficient of volume expansion than solid because the molecules are more loosely bound in a liquid. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, two metal rods, one aluminium and one brass. Okay, here brass on the left, aluminium on the right. Are uh, each clamped at one end. At zero degrees Celsius, the rod are each 50 centimeter long and are separated by 0 0.024 centimeters. So they are not near. They have some separation in the middle here. Okay, at their unfastened end. So here fastened end where they are clamped, here not fastened. At what temperature will the rods just come into contact? So they want to know, after you heat the thing uh, until this one can reach already, at what temperature will the rod just come into contact? Okay. So coefficient of thermal expansion, you must check in the table if not given in the question. For example, brass. Okay, brass is 19 times 10 negative 6 Kelvin. And then uh, aluminium is... Okay, so these two items, brass and aluminium, you can check from here. Brass is 19. Uh, 19 here, but you must times with 10 to the power of negative 6. For aluminium, is 22.5 times 10 negative 6. Okay, here, got the negative 6. Don't forget and just take from the table. Okay, refer to the top. What is the unit? Okay, after that, <clears throat> the brass rod expand by changes of L brass. So, this is the formula in the slide just now. Changes of L equal to Alpha changes of T times LO. Aluminium also like that. Changes of L equal to alpha changes of T times LO. So the sum of the two expansion is 0 0.024 centimeter. Uh, this one get from where? From the question. Okay. See here. 0 0.024 is the separation. After add together, that is the changes of L for both. Because they say just now, uh, after heated, it will join, right? The length. Now the two length, brass and aluminium, not join. Okay? So when they are joined, the... The total, the sum of the two expansion is 0 0.24 centimeter. So changes of L is uh, changes of L brass and changes of L aluminium. We can. <clears throat> 
So L brass, changes of L brass is alpha brass times changes of T. Okay, times LO. So since these two have the same formula, right? So changes of T, LO, here also changes of T, LO. So factorize this, put outside. Changes of T, LO. Okay, the one which is not same, this one. So put it in a bracket, alpha plus and alpha aluminium. Okay, these two. Change it to plus here. So equal to 0 0.024. Okay, after that, total of T. Changes of T. Okay, changes of T. From this formula, you want to bring the rest to the right side. So, changes of T equal to 0 0.024. Divide this one from multiply, divide under this. Here also multiply. Take the whole bracket, divide under this. Okay. Then substitute alpha brass 19 from 19 times 10 negative 6. Okay, from the table. Okay, alpha aluminium coefficient of aluminium also from the table. Substitute here and times with 50. 50 cm is original length. Okay, refer to here. The rows are each 50 cm long. Uh, so both same. If not same, you cannot put there. Cannot put LO here. Okay. Must plus. <laughs> okay. After that, 11.6 degrees Celsius. Next, the temperature at which the two rod touch is... T equal to TO plus changes of T, which is 11.6. So here, how to get zero degree Celsius? Uh, Mention here, at zero degree Celsius, the rod are each 50. So if other question you see um, at 20 degrees Celsius, the rod are 50. So, original or TO. T original is 20. Put here 20. Don't simply put 0. Okay. This 0 is because this question is uh, mentioned already in the question. 0. If question mentioned 5 degrees Celsius, you must put T O five, so five plus eleven point six. So must be careful when you read the sentence. Okay, for this question. <clears throat> okay, before we go into heat, we will do one question on this temperature first.
ओके ओके लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन द ट्यूटोरियल एट टेम्परेचर एंड हीट अ रूम एकॉन कॉसेस अ टेम्परेचर चेंज ऑफ नेगेटिव सिक्स डिग्री सेल्सियस What is the temperature change in Kelvin and degree Celsius? Okay, how to do? <clears throat> So just add right with the two hundred and seventy three point one five. Okay, so just use this the two seventy three point one five. You put seventy three point one five. You plus with the temperature given. So temperature given minus six. So minus six plus two seven three point one five. Become blue. Give it on. Okay, next continue number two. Okay, you can refer to the slide in the model to do number two. So meanwhile, the number one, I will put here. Cause not kill you, wait. Ah. Okay. So for number one. T equal to T C plus two seven three point one five. So temperature given, temperature change is negative six. So negative six plus two seven three point one five equal to six seven point one five degree Kelvin. Okay. Okay, so next we move to question two. Uh, 
I miss. Uh. What about Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit. Oh, go one more. Okay, okay, wait up. Last 32. This one, A lah. Okay, got B. Hmm. 267.15 minus 273.15 times with Oh, the cane, <coughs> the cane you need to write. Wait, ah. Six, seven. Okay, so the answer is 21.2. Sorry. Number five plus thirty two. Okay. Uh, miss, why why you need to multiply by nine over five? Uh, that is the formula. For you, formula for Fahrenheit. Con convert Kelvin to Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, now we will do question number two. Question number two. 2, 2 metal, eh, 2, 35 cm metal rod. So, this is the same like the one in the slide just now. Okay, I place end to end touching each other. One end is fixed so that it cannot move. The rod are heated from 0 degree Celsius to 150 degree Celsius. So, original temperature TO is 0. Okay, so for your own understanding, you can draw. Wait, I push this up. Huh? For 
number two. <coughs> LO. Uh, jot down first the information given. 35 cm. Changes of T. 150 degree minus 0 degree equal 150. Um, how much is L? Okay, they ask you how much is L. So, at the, for your own understanding, you can put two rod here, okay. One is copper, one is aluminium. Okay, so now we are missing the coefficient, right? So, coefficient alpha copper. Alpha copper, how much? And then you can find alpha aluminium. How much? So, <coughs> coefficient need to be find in the table. Okay. So, just now copper. Copper is 16. Uh, here, okay, copper 16. Aluminium is 22.5. Okay, jot down. Copper 16 times 10, negative 6. Aluminium 22.5, right? Times with 10, negative 6. Okay, because uh, later this information you need to substitute. So, you jot down first. Okay, number 2. Okay, after that formula. Formula changes of L copper. Plus changes of L aluminium. Equal to L. Then. Uh, alpha copper. Plus alpha aluminium. Put in bracket. Multiply with changes of T. Times with LO equal to L. So now we substitute this. Not enough space. Um, 16 times 10 negative 6 for alpha copper. Plus with 22.5. Times 10, negative 6, alpha aluminium. Uh, changes of T, 150 minus 0. So, put 150. LO, original length, 35 cm. Convert to meter. 35 times 10, negative 2, equal to... Uh, 0 0.35 okay so here put 0 0.35 equal to l okay so at the 16 16 plus 22.5 is 38.5 38.5 times 10 negative 6. You can put micro also. Times 150 times 0 0.35. 
equal to L. So L equal to 2.02 mm. So, check with the answer, final answer for tutorial 8 is 2mm. Okay, same as 2.02mm also. Okay, can you understand? <clears throat> okay, any question for number two? I should put this way now. So now we will look at number three. Number three is something to do uh, related question to number two. Okay, a steel railroad tracks of length 18.3 meter are laid at 10 degrees Celsius. How much space? should be left between the track section if they are just uh, if they are to just touch when the temperature is 50 degrees celsius okay try to do number three <clears throat> Number three, concept same as number two. So number two, I already show you just now. Number three is uh, simpler. So first you need to um, take the points which are given. So points which are given is... 50 degrees Celsius and 10. So from there you can find changes of T. Okay, this one I scroll up. <coughs> Change color lah. 3. Okay, so first we will... Jot down the changes of T. Changes of T is when the temperature is 50. So 50 is the new temperature minus original temperature which is 10. So changes of T is 40 degrees Celsius. After that, the length. The length is 18.3 meter. So, no need to convert from centimeter. That is original length LO. 18.3 meter. Okay, jot down first. Uh, there are missing information which is the steel coefficient. 
Okay, so steel coefficient. Um, twelve iron or steel? Oh, <laughs> because steel is at the right side. I was searching for S here, so steel is twelve alpha steel. Equal to twelve times ten negative six. Okay, refer to here ten negative six. Uh, Kelvin negative one. The unit. Unit don't put in the calculation. Later you confuse. Okay. So what they ask? They ask you. How much space should be left in between this question mark here? So they are asking you what is the L actually, okay? L. L how much? Uh, now you calculate. Okay, try to do number three. Calculate number three. Um, answer is. Uh, final answer 8.8 8.8 millimeter uh, you calculate first can get or not So I put there coefficient table must be referred if it is not provided in the question. So in this case, this still coefficient not given in this question. So you must refer to the table of coefficient to find the value. And don't forget about the name. Okay, the still another name is um iron steel or iron okay another thing which have to name is cement cement or concrete okay, so table will be provided in the final exam together with formula sheet Point eight eight point seven eight four. Okay, answer by Tong eight point seven eight four times ten negative three. Ah, okay, correct. Okay, working. <coughs> Other student, please do also. In other class, uh, your friend also still quiet like this? Or only in my class? <laughs> no answer also. Changes of L... 
steel equal to alpha steel times with changes of T times with LO. Alpha till 12 times 10 negative 6. Changes of T for T. LO 18.3. 8.784 millimeter equal to 8.8. .8. 8.8. .8. Mm. Okay, same like the answer provided by Tong. Uh, okay, question number four. Since still under temperature, not heat. Um, question. Okay, now you do question number four. <coughs> question number four. A highway is made of concrete, concrete slabs that are 15 meter long at 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, who knows what is slab? Uh, inside got steel lah. <laughs> Outside is concrete, right? Where also you see this slab? For example, to cover the to cover the drain, right? Ah. Oh. Steel, bra, uh, steel bars and concrete double story house. Ah, okay. Eh, what's this answer? If you want to keep water tank, then got to put it on top of concrete slab. Ah, also can. Uh, also your cooktop for the kitchen cabinet. Okay, kitchen cabinet also can put concrete slab. Uh, some don't have. Some they directly buy from the kitchen cabinet. So it is not from concrete. It is from the aluminium, aluminium frame. Table top for cheaper price. Ah, okay. So also to cover the rain. The rain from from the main road to the house compound. Okay, bungalow house or link house. They have a house compound, right? So from the main road, got drain, then only your house compound. So the slab is there. <laughs> Slab is there so that uh, your car, 
can your car can drive through it. Okay, because there is a drain, right? Ah, last time they use steel. Steel only. <laughs> if you steal only, uh, people will steal. Ah, still different spelling. <laughs> okay, nowadays if you use steel only without the, the slab, Concrete lah, without the concrete mixed with the steel. Uh, so, people or drug addict people can steal the steel. Because expensive, can sell. After you add with the slab, uh, it becomes heavy, right? Heavy, difficult to steal. Okay, that is why um, eh, still different spelling, sorry. Uh, that is why sometimes, right, at the park uh, nearby your house, okay, when the authority or DBKL already installed with the steel uh, slap uh, still to cover the drain. Suddenly, it is not there. It is stolen all. After that, uh, children can fall into the drain. So, it will be not safe for people. Okay? Because all the drain not covered already. The steel has been stolen. So... Even though you can screw it, okay, the steel can be screwed, it, but screw also people can screw out. <laughs> okay, so to settle this problem, it is made with slab. Okay, understand also already the slab. <clears throat> okay, now we move to question four. A highway is made of concrete slab that are 15 meter long at 20 degrees Celsius. If the temperature range at the location of highway is 0. Point, is negative from negative 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. What size expansion gap should be left to prevent buckling on the highway? What is buckling? Uh, buckling means the crack or <laughs> pavement. Uh. Okay, wait. So, if buckling happen, this will happen during high temperature. Okay. Or even worse. Yeah. Uh, this 
this will happen at uh, if it is hot hot roots okay other than that This one more higher. Right. So the calculation must uh, to do the pavement of the highway. The calculation must be correct. That is why you learn all this. Thermal expansion. All this, right? Okay, so we are trying to prevent this because you don't know in future where you will work. Are you working with the highway company? Okay, even though you are not civil engineers, um, you are, for example, electrical, electronic or mechatronics engineers. So they are also sensor use. Sensor are used in making highway pavement. Okay. So how it is used? It is using uh, ultrasonic electronic uh, devices. Okay, ultrasonic to check uh, to check the length, the thickness to check the thickness to check the length because highway also not same. Not same uh, gradient, okay. Uh, there are some area with hill, some area down the road, some area uh, lower than the other area. So to do the pavement, you must use sensor. Okay, last time they don't use sensor. For example, the thickness here. How you want to know it is, for example, 20, 20 cm, okay, the pavement uh, thickness, for example. How you want to know it is really 20 cm or not? Uh, old style, they will use a string. One string put here, another one put here, then as you lay out the pavement, it must follow the stirring height. That is the old method. But nowadays, a uh, new method use ultrasonic sensor. Okay, ultrasonic sensor for <coughs> for pavement. Okay. Give it on. So for pavement, <clears throat> there are thickness. certain thickness to do the pavement for the highway. Okay, so here is the sensor. Okay, this is the ultrasonic sensor to detect the height. Okay, to detect the height. How far? Okay, last time use uh, use string. Okay, for example, okay, here you can see that this is the thickness. 
Okay, so left and right here, there are ultrasonic sensor to detect the level. Okay, level sensor to check whether the height is suitable or not. Because uh, here, maybe not same as the end there. The root are not smooth. So the smoothness can be controlled by the uh, sensor. Okay. Okay. So now we do question number four. Finish already. <laughs> okay, try to do number four, jot down the information given in the question. For example, LO 15 meter, uh, jot down first. Okay, jot down first, number four. Original length is 15 meter. Uh, at 20 degrees Celsius, so original temperature. 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, number one. A eh, number A. If the temperature range of the location is from negative 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. What a, what size expansion gap should be left at 20 degrees Celsius to prevent buckling of the highway? Okay, temperature range is for um, negative 20 to... Okay, try to do number four. Oh, information for alpha concrete, huh? Check from this. Uh, concrete is 12 times 10 negative 6. So coefficient of concrete. Of a concrete. Is 12 times 10 negative 6. So they ask you what is changes of L for the changes of L concrete. So alpha concrete times swift changes of T. Time swift L O
3.6 mm. Okay. Okay, Tong have answer other student. 3.6 mm also. Twelve times ten negative six twenty fifteen go to three point six mm. Uh, any other student want to provide the answer? Okay, now we change to number two, uh, number B. Okay, we continue part B. Part B, how large are the gaps at negative 20 degrees Celsius? So, gap is changes of L. Equal to alpha concrete. Multiply with changes of T. Multiply with LO. So, 12 micro times 6. I mean, Times 40 minus negative 20. Okay, here mention negative 20. So, 40 minus negative 20 times we 15. Zero point zero one zero eight or ten point eight MM. Okay, answer for the final answer is ten point eight MM for number four B. This is the working for number four. She is no response from others. Uh, miss, why use 40 minus negative 20? Uh, for 40, the change in 40 original? Oh, not 20. Uh. Useful. 
Okay. Yeah, use 40. <clears throat> I mean, so I don't understand why is it 10.8. Mm. I thought it's 7.2. From where the 7.2? Because um, the, the road was built at 20 Celsius. So 20 to negative 20 is 40 Celsius difference. So 40 is not the TO. Yeah, isn't it 20 because it's built during 20? I thought TO was 20. <laughs> okay, Veda. Yeah, I also think so. TO is 20. Because final answer provided by other lecturer, this one, 10.8. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. So, 20 minus negative 20. Uh, yes, miss. Because not sure whether B continue from A or B from the beginning. You think from beginning? Actually, I, I now after thinking, I think 40 correct. Uh. I mean like, okay, so if... Uh, they want the gap between two when they become coma. So if we let's say we use uh twenty means we find the thing shrink, but we like need to plus the three point six afterwards or so. Then only we get the total gap between the two places. And if seven point two plus three point six is ten point eight. Oh, must like, add. Like, so I don't know. I mean, like, cause if we use uh twenty means like we up there already count like at normal twenty degree we need to leave. 3.6 mm space so that it can expand when it become 40 degree ma. Mm. So then now they want to uh, find it the total gap when it be a shrink all the way to negative when it become negative 20 degree. So like so like 20 is the original. Then this already have a 3.6 gap there. So when it shrink to negative 20 degree that time, mm. uh, you need to plus the 3.6 yeah, uh, gap uh, so so there's a total gap between the two things. If you use 20 as original temperature. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, how the rest? I, <laughs> I understand why you like that idea. Okay, so... Whether... To use... 20... Or... 40... For TO Part B um, This I will ask the other lecturer who provide the answer first to confirm with you later whether need to use 20 minus negative 20 then here become 40 and not 60, but then need to add with this. Got two time calculation or what, right? <laughs> okay, never mind. Later, I will inform you in the next class for this case.
Okay, now we do question number five. Oh, but this one, wait, ah. Huh? It is under heat or... Wait. No, oh, this is still under this. Okay. So, question number five we can do because it is not hit yet. Hit is only question number six. Okay. So, in the lecture just now, we we haven't entered the hit. Hit got another formula. So, we can do question number five. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> okay, question number five. A copper washer is to be fit in place over a steel bolt. So, this is the washer. After put at the steel bolt, it will become like this. You know, right? This thing. Okay. Both pieces of metal are at 20 degrees Celsius. If the diameter of the bolt is 1 centimeter. Uh, later, you will ask me why got many zero here. Because want to standardize with the other one. If in the question must standardize. If one use four decimal point, the other one also must use. Okay. So, even though this one is just one cm, we must type with four decimal point to be standardized with the other cm. Okay, same like temperature also. If one is 20.05, so two decimal point, the other one also must have two decimal point. Okay. Okay, after that, if the diameter of the bolt, <clears throat> this is the bolt. This one is the washer. Later you confuse which one. Okay, diameter of the bolt is one centimeter. And the inner diameter of the washer, uh, this one, 0 0.9980 centimeter. To what temperature must the washer be raised so it will fit over the bolt? Okay. This one not exceeding 1. This one 1. This one 0 0.99. So you must uh, hit this until it becomes 1. Ah. So that this can be like a ring to go to this bolt. Okay. Uh, so this one quite uh, challenging the question. Not difficult. Challenging only. <laughs> question number five. Okay, so information given. You have um, diameter for the whole thing is 1 cm. And then the one inside is not that circle also, okay. The one inside there, okay, the diameter is um, the equal to 0 0.9980 cm. Okay, must convert to meter. For calculation, 0 0.00998 meter. This one, 1 cm, convert to meter, 1 times 10, negative 2 meter. Okay. 
Okay. This one to put inside this. So just now we have changes of L. Now we have changes of D. Okay, diameter changes. Uh, 1 times 10 minus 0 0.00. Eh, malas. <laughs> Zero point nine nine eight times ten negative two. Ah, uh, this one, ah. Zero point nine nine eight times ten negative two meter. Put here. Okay, so that is the changes of L or changes of D. Since they are talking about diameter, you put also here indication D. So, equal to 2 times 10 negative 3 cm. Equal to... 2 times 10 negative 3 times 10 negative 2. 2 times 10 negative 5 meter. Okay. Uh, depend on your calculator, which one you will get right. But then uh, simplify it according to what you want. Later you want to substitute easy. Okay. After that, Mm, changes of T. Changes of D settle. So, others use changes of L. Uh, later you don't know the D from where. <laughs> because normally you see the formula ch uh, changes L. Suddenly got changes D, you also confused. So it is actually the changes of L in other question. Okay, you can put a note there. So when you want to study, you know. So changes of T. How much changes of T? Anyone have finished? Ah? Not yet, ah. Okay. Changes of T. Mm, T minus. T minus 20. Okay. So, you don't know. Don't know yet. So, can put T minus 20. We want to know what is T. Okay, we want to know what is T. After that, uh, copper coefficient. Jot down the copper coefficient. Copper washer. But still both. Uh, so you have two different material here. Don't use the same. Alpha coefficient of copper. How much? Then coefficient of steel. Wait, uh. Copper for the washer. Uh, steel for the boat. Okay. So this need to find from the table. <coughs> Table here. Sixteen for copper. For steel is under iron here. Twelve. 
Ah, after that, <laughs> wait ah. Actually, the steel is not heated. Only the copper heated. So no need to use. Since only copper washer. Is heated. Sorry, I also need look at this. Okay, if both heated, then only you need to use both to find the changes of T later. Okay. So formula is alpha copper eh. alpha copper multiply by changes of T wait on changes of D and changes of D. If you don't want to do bracket, also can. Vera. Mm. Alpha concrete, alpha T, alpha T. Alpha copper, alpha T. Um, this only right. Maybe we are confused. Alpha T L O mm. Alpha Copper times with changes of T D. Okay. <coughs> Let's put bracket lah. Alpha copper times with changes of T times with D equal to um changes of D. Okay. Equal to 2 times 10, negative 5. This one. Uh, changes of D, 2 times 10, negative 5. Okay, therefore. Hmm. Changes of T equal to 2 times 10 negative 5 per alpha copper 16 uh, changes of T. Changes of T. You know. Eh, why I have two time? Oh no. <laughs> uh, D. D is 0 
times 10 negative 2 that is the D okay D washer after that changes of T is T minus 20 substitute here 125 0.25 Therefore, T equal to 125.25 minus 20 equal to 145.25. Okay, set up. Uh, provided by the final answer, 145 only. Okay. So... Try to do again the tutorial eight question one to five for your practice, okay? So this I will send here or send in the Moodle. Later I will provide in the Moodle the solution for number 1 to number 5. Okay. So our next class we will do the heat. Okay, later we do the lecture and then we do the question. If we do all the lecture finish until all the heat, then later when want to do the question, you will forget which part want to use which formula. Okay. Okay, any other question? If not, we will take attendance since we don't have any break just now. So our class is at 4.15, but there are many students at 4 already enter. Uh, maybe you mistakenly, you think it is at 4. Our class is at 4.15. Because I don't want students to say I come late again for the class. 
You are the one who come early. <laughs> okay, scan QR code 199. Okay, on Friday, we will continue our question number six onwards and also other extra exercise. For this Excuse chapter. me, Ms. Yeah. Well, when is the deadline for the assignment, Ms? 25th? 25th, yeah. Hmm. After uh. this, I will check the Moodle again. Just now, someone mentioned it is not changed yet. Oh, yeah, because uh, it's, uh, it's 20th. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 25th. Okay, thank you, Max. Mm. Um, uh, excuse me, when is the second uh, exam? Second After. exam? What exam is that? Like the next exam, Max. Oh, final exam? Yeah. Uh, 3rd November. 3rd November. Mm. Okay, Max. Yeah, I check the time for assignment. Engineering science. Sure. Oh, here, sorry. <laughs> Different folder. Twenty fifth October eleven fifty nine. Ah, you don't go and upload eleven thirty. Ah, onwards, then a lot of student will do that thing. Later, you hang cannot submit. Don't blame me. Okay, if you cannot submit in the same day that is provided here, later you need to apply for EC. Okay, so don't do that, please. Okay, set already. Eh? Remind to grade must be earlier. <laughs> 25th. Uh, 26th. Uh. <clears throat> okay, set up. Okay, thank you all. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, hmm. uh, ma'am. Uh, can you hear me? 